tough loss for our guys. They hung in there. They played their hearts out. Uh, proud of these guys. Proud to be their coach. Uh, toughest group I've probably ever coached, these guys. And, and the pleasure to be around and how they conduct themselves, handle their business. Uh, didn't turn out for us tonight, obviously. But uh, heck of a season these guys put together. Uh, still got a chance to play one more time together, uh, wherever that may be. We'll find out. At some point, next few days, I guess. Um, but, uh, you know, particularly proud of the defense. Tough to lose a game when you don't give up a defensive touchdown. But uh, it was two good, very good defenses going at it out there tonight. Um, and the score was indicative of that. The score, the, the, the statistics, all that were, were indicative of uh, the type of defense that was being played out there. And so, uh, you know, we'll play together again at next three, four weeks, whatever, you know, just give us a city and give us an opponent and we'll be there. And uh, hopefully finish this thing off on a positive. But again, regardless, these guys, uh, you know, they, they wrote Utah football history to this point. I mean, nobody had ever got to the South Championship and been able to get in this championship game. So they they accomplished a lot of good things this year and uh, very proud of them for that. Kyle, you were pretty fired up on the non-PI call. Is that just huh, kind of the would you? Wouldn't you be? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see the same thing I saw? Yeah. I don't know what I can say without getting fined, but I'm used to it. So, you know, I was fired up, but I'm used to it by now. I just wondered, um, I mean, you lost your starting quarterback and your starting running back. I know you, your mantra is next man up, but mm -hmm. you have to be, I mean, it has to add to the pride factor that you guys got that you made history with these I mean, yeah. the resilience is still sort exactly of and that's that's what i'm alluding to when i say how proud i am of them and and the resiliency and the the ability to handle diversity and and uh, to just keep fighting i mean just keep fighting if these guys apply that same toughness and attitude and mindset to the rest of their lives they're all going to be wildly successful because that's that, that's who they are kyle can you talk about what you did at halftime I mean, you're only down three zip but obviously the offense was not doing much in the first half what was the mindset coming out, and did you feel confident that maybe you could pull this thing out? Sure, we did. Yeah, we did. It was a, it was a game. I mean, it was three nothing. That was no insurmountable lead by any stretch. And uh, we had the ball coming out at halftime. We felt good about that. We ended up we getting a field goal on that. Uh, was it the opening drive or the second drive? Opening drive. Anyway, early in the second half to tie it up. And then they had that uh, bizarre play that bounced off our guy in his leg and into their hands and scored the touchdown, which was the only touchdown of the night. So, I'm, you know, that was uh, unfortunate. But uh, just couldn't get things going offensively. And uh, credit Washington's defense. They're, uh, you know, among the best in the country. And uh, they showed it tonight. Coach, back to the non-call and fourth down at the end. Did you get an explanation from nope, the referee? No, no explanation. Zero explanation. No, it's still fresh. You coached a lot of big games with this team. Did this one feel like as big or, or bigger than any that you've coached? Mm, I don't know. We've been in some big games here, and, and uh, this is certainly – it was new territory, something we'd never done before has been in this particular game. So that was uh, a big game in that regard and what was at stake. Um, but, uh, you know, comparatively say, speaking, you know, there's, it's probably up there among the top four or five that we've played in here and coached in. Uh, what, are, what are your thoughts on your defensive effort, especially you know, the fact that they were on the field for so much? Outstanding. And like I said, a little disheartening to lose a game when you don't give up a defensive touchdown. Uh, that doesn't happen very often, but, but I keep going back to give the Huskies credit because there's a reason we didn't do much on offense. They've, they've played great defense all year long, and uh, they certainly played well tonight. And they stayed exactly within their M.O., that they've been using the entire season, you know, just keep things in front of them, very little blitzing, uh, and just play very sound. And they did that all night long. Kyle, what options did you consider at the end of the half when you chose to let the call yeah, come Yeah, you know, we, when we got sacked and got knocked back around well, was the 45-yard line or something, like, and the wind was in our face, and and uh, I wasn't sure if Jason could get the ball to the end zone for a Hail Mary, It was, and you certainly don't want to go for it. You know, take the time out with 18 or 20 seconds, go for it and miss it, and they're only – 20 or 30 yards out of field goal position. So so we just decided we we're going to get the ball coming out in the second half. Uh, as many bad things can come come out of that as good things if you just chuck it up there on a Hail Mary uh, with, you know, if you're not sure you can reach the end zone with it. And so uh, that was the thinking there. It's way too far for Matt Gay. I mean, that, you know, he kicked the 153-yarder with the wind the other direction. 
and just barely made it. And so this one would have been, you know, unreachable, definitely unreachable. So, so we decided to let the clock run out and uh, come out at, with possession in the second half and, and resume. Can I ask two questions? Sure. No. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I asked. Uh, so yeah. to, you you guys have uh, used uh, the hashtag just a regular team a lot. Has that motivated <laughs> you guys? That, um, I, that yeah, being? I haven't personally used it because I don't use hashtags. I know, I figured but, that. That wasn't you. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a, a funny quote by an opponent that we faced sometime this year. And, mm -hmm. and not funny, but just kind of something that uh, some of our guys clung on to and and uh, that's an apt description, you know, just a regular bunch of guys just playing hard and winning games, so. And what did it mean to you to see so many Utah fans make the trip? Oh, it was huge, and, and our, you know, just thankful for, our fans have been phenomenal all year long. Uh, we've sold that place out back home, Rice Eccles, closing in on 60 times in a row. Uh, the support these guys, our fans give these guys, our players, is uh, phenomenal. And uh, appreciate, uh, you know, thank you to our fans for, for their show of support tonight and all season long and and just uh you know that's it's uh part of utah football they're part of our program can how do you sum things up for your feelings right now and how close was the rose bowl and what do you leave well the rose bowl was seven points away eight points i guess you know because we needed to score 11. uh bittersweet very proud of what they accomplished this year won the south uh, that's not easy to do and so i was proud of them for that uh, you know, you always want more. You know, you, you're never satisfied. You want more. No matter what you do, you want more. And that's just the, that's one of the, the uh, tough things about this business is, is as soon as you get something, you want more. And so that's, that's what keeps you going, I guess, those competitive juices. But, but uh, proud of the season they've had. What are we, nine and four? Nine and four right now. Chance to win 10 ball games, you know, if we take care of business in a bowl game. And so, uh, like I said, very proud. And when you think of the adversity they they overcame this season, very proud of them. Injuries are starting to pile up a little bit. Are you are you worried that that's going to kind of negatively impact you on in come bowl selection time? Well, we'll see. You know, it doesn't look good for Britt Covey. Uh, it looks like it's a severe knee injury. Uh, too too early to say definitively, but that's the prog uh, the early indication. But uh, yeah, we never. Two things I never whine about is officiating and injuries. And you know, if you ask me, I'll answer some things sometimes. But, but uh, you just got to, you know, it's excuses. So you just got to move forward and and uh, play with the guys that you got and and uh, next man up mentality. Uh, obviously, the best defense Jason has faced. What did you think of his game tonight? He struggled. It was tough. It was tough going run game and throw game. Tough to get the throw game going when you don't get much going in the run game. I mean, they feed off each other. But um, you know, do what he did as a redshirt freshman after he got thrust into that Arizona State game, uh, and then to rip off three wins in a row and get us here, get us in this situation. Very proud of him. And uh, maybe the redshirt freshman inexperience caught up to him a little bit tonight. Coach, before the uh, pick six on that drive, did you feel like the offense was starting to click a little bit? Yep, thought we had some momentum, a little bit of momentum going. We started to move the ball, and uh, that would have been a, uh, you know, clearly a first down and and move the chains and. And good field position if we'd have been able to and, complete uh, that catch. On the topic of momentum, you know, the past seven uh, Pac-12 championship game losers have lost their bowl game. How do you kind of uh, move forward from the disappointment to get the guys ready? Say to that play? again. The past what? Oh, uh, every uh, Pac-12 championship game loser, I believe, has lost its bowl game. So should we not show up? Well, <laughs> what are you no, saying? Absolutely not. But okay. I mean, just how do you kind of like bounce back from the disappointment? Okay. Um, so, so that being the fact, what was the question attached to that? I'm sorry to keep. Yeah, <laughs> they've all lost, how, and how do you kind of move on from the disappointment? Oh, get ready for okay. The well, this team's toughness, I believe, they're going to move on just fine. They're they're a tough group. They've had to move on from a lot of stuff this season and uh, continue to just come back after it. Uh, we have a pretty good history in bowl games. Our guys take them uh, seriously. They they do a great job in their preparation. I don't expect this year to be any different. What do you think, Dave, find or not? Probably not. Probably not. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs>